What happened to my f***ing joiner? Something's f***ed up. I'm f***ed. So we get tons of comments and requests for more three levels built. We wanted to put a new twist on it. In order to do so, we were thinking instead of constricting the skill level to beginner, intermediate, pro, we would take a page out of the Tasty Channel's book and do a time constraint. So this video, we're gonna do five minutes, 50 minutes, five hour builds. Let's go. For the first box, I am going to use the most basic construction I can come up with. And it's gonna be really difficult. I don't think I've ever built anything in five minutes, but I think with proper planning, I can still stay safe and build something that's gonna look solid. Sam's gonna Time it, we should have a timer up here, and this should be a lot of fun. Let's get to it. I've got some scraps of oak here. I've got a stopwatch on my watch. Sam's got a timer on his. We're gonna get these going, and then we're gonna get ripping. In three, two, one, let's go. minutes. Okay, um, next thing I want to try to do here, I think, <laughs> is pre-drill some holes. I'm not going to make these too fancy. Wow, so it looks so easy on television. Three minutes. I need a bit for this. Oh, the only screws we have. Uh -huh. Yeah, that'll work. That or not. Should be. Two minutes, 30 seconds. One minute. One minute. Oh my goodness. Are you sure that Garmin's perfect? 32 seconds remaining. Oh, 15 seconds. I don't even know what metal's in here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Three miles per hour. Box. Wow. <laughs> That was awful. Shocked. I am sweating. <laughs> <laughs> that, I can't believe something looks like a box. You know what's funny is I really underestimated how much time things take, and then I always do that. But I thought I was gonna have time to put some like nice plugs on this and stuff. Not at all. Whew. I need a break. <laughs> a cup of water. Yes. Yeah. Let's hydrate. All right, so after I caught my breath, looking at this thing, it looks like a five minute box. You could definitely clean it up a little bit with some sanding, some finish, but I cannot believe how fast that five minutes went. The next one should be pretty interesting. We're gonna do a cherry wood box with splines. Hey, I built a spline jig in the 50 minutes. So let's head back over to the table saw. So I got <laughs> this single board of cherry and uh, I got my stopwatch. Sam's gotta get his setup ready to roll. Three, two, one, let's build. First thing I'm gonna do is make the panel for the bottom. I'm not gonna cheat it this time. I'm gonna use a glue up. <laughs> 45 minutes. Oh, what happened to my fing joiner? What's wrong with that? See that? That's the problem. That's not how it's supposed to be. I'm gonna use fast drying glue. Cause we have 42 minutes and 14 seconds. That took now. eight minutes. We should have taken three. We'll be all right though. Yeah, our outfit table came out of whack. Which will make 
terrible tear out, but I can't, I don't want to sacrifice that on my lighters. Fortunately, a couple years ago, I built a cross-cut sled with a type of box that we're building. You should be able to just chuck that on here, adjust the blade, get really close to what I'm trying to do. Damn it, Jordan. Maybe gonna enlist Sam's help. Does that be against or do it? Lots of plan, this is going. What do we what do we like to say around here, Sam? Slow, smooth, smooth is fast. We like Rocky Unit right now, my guy. 34 minutes. Place. How are we feeling? Think you'll do it? All right, so part's done. I can now put that ripping blade back in and rip the panel bottom. <laughs> High speed woodworking. Wouldn't build for this. I can't believe it's already been 20 minutes. Like, I feel like I did nothing. Alright, so I need to get this panel on the bottom cut to size. I'm just praying it's dry. The only thing Sam's helping me with on this entire build is the dust collector. I'd have that thing running the full time, but uh, you can't hear me then. So Sam's being an adult about it and turning that thing on and off. So we've got a... Ooh, John, I just remembered. You have 25 minutes. Hope it dry, saw me. Ah! It hurts! I don't know what that means. I think I made that too short. Sure did. Damn it. Spaceballs go. They're always in that thing in here. Hey Siri, call Jordan. Where are the fing space balls? Bye. We got slim chance in hell here, Sam. A slim chance in hell. Go ahead and forget them, right? Pretty sure they claim this dries in 10 minutes. We're gonna find out today. How much time do I got, Sam? 12 minutes, 10 seconds. We're I'm fucked. I like how this turned into like three cool ways to do something in a short period of time to like me being absolutely dripping sweat, getting my ass kicked. I guess that's more entertaining. I'll do it for the peoples. I thought this, I had plenty of time to do this one. I know what I'm gonna do. Pivot, pivot it, Sam because I want to get the splines in. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is throw some pin nails. That'll be hard to see. Oh, this was such a stupid idea. I nailed this into it. Great. On the cooking one, they lie. It says the time, but then that's only the time that it takes to cook. Not prep, bastards. I need a freaking material for splines. Ah. No. Is that plywood? This is maple from something. I gotta ask again. Whose freaking idea was this? Fine, huh? Five minutes. Usually I do this by hand, but I ain't got time for this shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. Thirty seconds. Spray finish. We don't have anything clear coat, huh? ATLP may have something in it. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and tie. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Oh, it's a spline. I can't breathe. Mineral spirits. No, 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 no. It, your time's up. Hey friends, real fast before I dive into the last box here, I wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of the channel that we love the most when it comes to woodworking, Woodcraft. If you guys aren't familiar, Woodcraft is bar none, the best supplier and distributor of woodworking products in the world, in my opinion. They've got storefronts across the country, I think in like 74 different cities, and as well as an incredible online store. If you're looking for anything woodworking, they're gonna have it. Most of the stuff that you can see in my videos is available at Woodcraft. So find your local store, go online, be awesome, check out Woodcraft. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, these projects. Now, let's see if I can get something done in five hours. All right, so for the five hour build, we're gonna do a lidded box, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a detailed feature. We're gonna do dovetails on that box, as well as multiple wood species. Things should get interesting on this one. Let's go rip some wood. So we got five hours on the clock. Let's get ripping. So I'm gonna try to make this thing out of wenge and white oak. I've got some white oak that's raw, but this wenge here, I have left over from a project that a client sent back to me like six years ago. So I wanna get that dark contrast. This stuff's super nasty and I hate working with it. Just under a half hour in. All right, so I'm laying out gonna be pin board with a tail board. And I have these really cool seven degree blade for my table saw that I'm gonna use to cut the pins and cut the tails and I'll transfer those pins and cut those out by hand. All right, so I've got a specialty table saw blade that is angled that I can cut dovetails on the table saw. They'll be super crispy and it'll speed things up for me. And hit that dust, it'll make miracles happen. It's just taking me longer than I thought. All right. It's been a minute since I've been back here. Okay, you remember how to do it? No guarantees. I remember parts enough, but we'll get through. This is the Mike Pekovich technique for dovetails. He uses this blue tape. The blue tape, especially on this dark wood, gives me an opportunity to really see where my lines and my cut marks are gonna be, because I'm gonna cut these ones by hand. We're one hour in. So it's going decent. I'm making headway on these. I'm going to use the bandsaw to cut out the waist, speed that process up a bit. It's just a matter of making sure I keep my parts in correct order. Because that's like when I'm rushing like this, I don't have as much time to like think what I'm doing between each part. And when you're doing hand cut anything. And one miscut. Something that's going to set you back. Three hours and 55 minutes. Yeah, dovetails and Sam Green. What do you mean? My dovetails were great. No, you did great dovetails once. Yeah, f around and find out, Malachi. Actually, didn't you do yours this exact method? Yeah, you explained me, to me how to do it, and I said, cool, I'm gonna just do that. Pretty awesome. So when you do the bandsaw, you have to keep the fat parts tall up top. And I think I hurried through it. They should look like this, all of them, and they don't. Which means I'm gonna have to recut them all, except this one. Three hours and 30 minutes left. Excuse me. I don't like this. Are we back to where we were? We're close. 20 minute detour. We're gonna need a little refinement to get everything to fit tight. Slight bit of sanding and these should work. Now, next thing that I wanna do, this is probably stupid, so I kind of was thinking I wanted to do like a foot. Something like that, kind of give it a foot and raise it up. Is this a bold move? I do believe so. But I mean, you got three hours, what else are you gonna do, you know? It break, or you just bend it? I mean, it's trash. I'm gonna have to check the rule book. Are you allowed to have My employees fix the tools I break? Yes. 
I do believe it says in the rules, the boss man says goes. You got three hours. I'm using this technique. I gotta cut the lid on the bottom end before I glue it up. Look at the bit. We got two hours and 41 minutes. Now, what I'm gonna do is cut this little uh, detail onto the front bottom of the box here and here. And from there, get that thing sanded down and then work on the lid and the bottom. Once those get in the glue, we're in the home stretch. Have we ever used this? Starting to take shape. That's the general look I was going for with the box. Just those nice little curved feet in the bottom. Is that where you thought I was going with it? I wasn't sure what you were doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up. Getting squirrely. What's our time at? My watch died. Two hours and 12 minutes. Uh, that's gonna be a disappointment if that doesn't fit. Well, I didn't build it to fit. I was going to use that wider stuff, but I think this fits. We need a little bit of planing. Do you want me to go to your home? Are you too good for your home? Damn it. Everything's a hammer. You got two hours. Two. Two. Rip down the box lid, then we're gonna cut codes in the side of it. Get a water and let's make a handle, huh? I'm gonna have to keep it basic because I'm gonna have time. Oh. There it is, that's what's speaking to me. Curve is in the part I'm gonna cut out. One hour, three minutes, and five seconds. And that is Jordan. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. clean up all the sh this ridiculous mess I made. One hour. What do you think, Samwise? I think it's slightly above average. Always above. I like it a lot. It's a box. Hey! <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cool, I think. I don't even know why we're approaching this like a challenge. Make shitty stuff. Good. I'm very surprised with what I've been able to do in five hours. Where are the fucking one screw? We got six minutes. Yeah, five minutes left. Five. What a spray. We made it! Hooray! Oh yeah, I need a nap. My back hurts. Four minutes to spare. Okay. Though I will argue the inside and bottom aren't finished. Technically the challenge was can I get it done? Because I mean like, yeah. It's off. The sanding. Ah. It's pretty, it's pretty good.
That's gonna be a wrap on this one. This project and the whole video itself was pretty cool. It was super challenging for me. I very much overestimate what we can typically accomplish within a certain period of time. The five minute box, I will say, was the most difficult part of this entire project. Yes, it was more difficult than the dovetails. I, five minutes just absolutely flew. So, challenge you guys to try something like this. If you wanna see me do another project like this, oh, leave your recommendations down below. And also, we've got new merch. Snag up one of these hoodies before they go out because we're not going to have them for long and I'll see you in on the next video.